by this doctor from Meiru, from Kifa University. I have a Samantha, it's me. Hi. She's my graduate student and she's going to graduate tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Don't introduce yourself. Yeah, um, like she said, I'm Samantha Schaefer. Um, I am from Indiana. I got my undergrad at Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis, where I studied psychology and I have two minors in forensic science and criminal justice. And I, I, I can see um, you get so good in graduate school, but I remember you told me when you were young there's some a little bit traumatic experience in your life. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you, you might see a little bit. Yeah. Um, I grew up as a military kid, so I was moving consistently all the time. I actually was born in Germany, so when I was about two years old, we moved to Washington State and then kind of just moved all around in between then. But um, around eighth grade year, yeah. I would say my first traumatic event happened. Um, I was sexually assaulted by another student. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't tell my parents. I didn't report yeah. it or anything because yeah. I was the older student in that aspect. So I thought it was my fault. I internalized and blamed myself for a long time. Yeah. And then we, that was in Washington. So then we moved to Indiana and I flourished in school. I got really good grades. Yeah. I was doing excellent. Then I went off to college. Um, my freshman year of college, there was another incident where I was sexually assaulted again. I was drinking a lot and couldn't respond or anything. And then following that event, because um, at that point, no one believed me. Yeah. My parents didn't, I didn't tell anyone again. Yeah. Um, I actually started using narcotics uh -huh. and drugs to kind of cope with what happened. Yeah. So that kind of took toll for about three years. Wow. So. So mm -hmm. then, you know, when we did psychology, we know the traumatic experience is going to hurt people. Mm -hmm. So how do you overcome how that experience, you didn't, they didn't, didn't kill you and yeah. make you strong. Yeah. So how do you do it? It's really interesting because I've actually thought a lot about that, especially in the sense of like, how come these things have happened to so many other people, but when it happens to them, they yeah. stop, they hit that roadblock, they yeah. can't continue. What yeah. makes me so different that yeah. I have that perseverance to keep moving forward, yeah. I would just say that you can't dwell on it. What's dwelling on it gonna do? Yeah. I, I'm not the same person I was 10 years ago, let yeah. alone who I was yesterday, yeah. and dwelling on that event yeah. wouldn't have done any good. Yeah, but how, where did you learn that? You learn from school or you feel that's your personality? You are, have stronger um, personality? I would say my personality as well as my dad. Okay. He was in the military and was deployed all the time. Yeah. So I would see him be gone for about a year yeah. out of time. So I kind of learned to take whatever is going on in my life bottle it up not necessarily bottle it up in a negative way but kind of pr push through it i learned it from him wow mm -hmm. so he's his strong will mm -hmm. help you to overcome it so then when you go to uh graduate school and yeah. you choose forensic psychology is that part of the, the experience you feel you want to help people? Is that mm -hmm. easy? Yes, um, because so the first time I was assaulted, it was by a child. Because okay. I was a child at yeah. the time. And then when I was an adult, it was by another adult. So yeah. I was always interested in the brain chemistry and what why a child would do this to another child. Yeah. Like what caused them to do such things. So that kind of led me into the path of forensic psychology. Yeah. I don't think if I had been assaulted or went down the path of drug abuse that yeah. I would be where I am right now or even studying where I am today. Yeah. So remember we talk about how people see the past experience influence how do they see the future. Mm -hmm. So I think you, you got that gift. Not your, only your personality, but also you work so hard to learn it mm -hmm. and digest that experience mm -hmm. and become part of the, the source of your energy to help people. Yeah. So I, I'm so surprised because when you talk about your experience, you don't shy away, mm -hmm. you're willing to face it. 
And so when is the time you tell your parents about it? So actually, when I um, turned 18, yeah. I told my mom. This is how I told her. I said, "Mom, I lost my virginity." And then I was like, "Also, when I was in eighth grade, I was sexually assaulted." Because yeah. they were two completely unrelated things. But I was like, yeah. "If I can bombard her with one thing, I can yeah. do the other." Yeah. And when I told her that, she kind of felt that she had failed as a parent because why didn't I feel comfortable coming to her? But yeah. there's been honestly so many instances in my life that I don't ask for help I'm very bad at asking yeah. for help I don't know how to yeah. and so I never have been able to ask for help so I kind of didn't tell my parents and the one that happened in college they they know bits and pieces about it but they don't know the full story of it my dad doesn't know any of it I mean he probably knows what my mom's told him but I have never myself told him so right now, when you talk about this experience, right now, mm -hmm. it, your heart is peaceful or hatred? Um, or... I definitely, I'm at peace, but there's still a lot of things that I know I need to work on myself to build those relationships with other people that, especially if I want to find a significant other, I'm going to have to put in those hours of therapy, but I would say with those events, I'm kind of at peace with them because, again, they it's made, not fault. it's not my fault, and they made me who I am today. Yeah. I would not be the person I am without those events occurring. Mm -hmm. So if you are the book, what's the, what's, the, what's the title of your book? Um, I would say The Unforgettable Journey of Samantha Schaefer. Mm -hmm. And so what's the next chapter of Samantha Schaefer? The actual journey is beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she has been doing so good. She earned uh, okay, tell us what what how many awards you earned? Um, I got two awards for the state of Ohio for my research and for the outstanding graduate student. She just keep blossom and blossom, blossom. I still remember the first day of your go to class in statistics. You still kind of quiet. Mm -hmm. And then the next, the, in the counseling class, a year after, you start to share and then start to share the story. Are you surprised yourself? I am. Yeah? I am not someone who gets emotional and honestly just talking about this is making me emotional because it's to look back at everything I've done and to say I did that yeah. is kind of because I know so many people who those would have been roadblocks. They would yeah. have stopped at that moment but I yeah. just kept going so yeah. it makes me emotional thinking of it. It's a happy tear. Yeah, yeah. It, very, it really is. Okay, so for the people out there, they have a similar experience like you, mm -hmm. give them some encouragement. I would just say take that risk. I mean, grad school all in itself was a risk. When I finished undergraduate, I had a 2.6 GPA. Really? Oh, yeah. There you was, cannot tell. <laughs> yeah. Like, for me to get into graduate school, it was a miracle. Okay. And I would just say, take that risk, take that jump, and keep going at it because you have no idea what's gonna happen. You don't know how much potential you have mm -hmm. until you, you try. Yeah, you have no idea. I have no idea you have 2.0. Point... <laughs> Fang Mei, one semester I got a point zero seven seven. Point zero seven seven. Yes. In the probation. <laughs> oh yes, I was threatened with academic probation. Wow. There, almost every semester. You should go back and visit your teacher. Right? And be like, haha, look <laughs> ah, at my master's degree. Yeah, this is me. Are you still remember? Right? So you 
this, this make make us more even more believe everybody the potential. Mm -hmm. so yes. We just need to find the right way, right yes. time and right moment. Yeah, because I mean, with my experience in undergrad, I did not want to go to grad school because. I had just failed so many times in undergrad that I was afraid that grad school was gonna be this giant failure. Yeah. Yeah. So taking that risk yeah. and realizing I actually know what I'm talking about. I'm a smart young woman who knows what is out in the world, so. But where is the confidence from? I don't know. Honestly, I <laughs> Dr. Her was asking, he was yeah. like, where's your confidence? And yeah. I honestly, you yeah. guys give me A's and I'm like, are you sure this yeah. is right? Are you grading this correct? Are you grading correct? right? Yeah. Am I A? Yes. For Samantha? I yeah. ask that all the time. I'm really? like, yes. Okay. I, that's the one thing, I lack self-confidence, but... How about now, in this moment, do you feel your confidence yeah. is going up? Yeah, yeah, especially with like my next steps in Chicago yeah. and my new job. Yeah. Like, I kind of, it's all falling together. Tell that us a little bit about Yeah, um, I have a job in Chicago as an intelligence intern who studies school shootings and threat assessments. So literally what I've been studying for the last year and a half. Pay off. It paid off. Mm -hmm. I'm just so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me interview. So no we got problem. this into the video. Yeah. So when you look, go back to no confidence, look at the video. Say, I, I should have a confidence. I should. I really should. <laughs> this is Samantha Schaefer. <laughs> the one is a lot of award and going to graduate tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. So for those of you, you still in struggling, just think about Samantha's story mm -hmm. and hopefully give you some energy to stand up and walk strong. Yeah. Because if she can do it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>